Hey guys, Lazy here again and welcome back to the Grass Text tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to create a shadow for the text and that will help it lift off the page and um, make it look like it's 3D and make it look a lot better it will actually look like it's final. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a selection around our text and to do that we're going to hold down control and click the layer icon and as you can tell it makes a selection around the layer and after that what we're going to do is basically use the up I mean the down and right arrow to move our selection and to fill in the selection so to fill in the selection we're going to hold down control and use backspace but first we're going to create a layer and we're going to move it behind our grass text after that we're going to make sure that our background colour is black like so and then we got our selection selected we're on the right layer so just going to hold down control backspace and as you can tell it filled that area in with black now the next thing we're going to do is press the right arrow and then down and press control backspace again and that filled it in again now do it again control I mean don't hold down control just right arrow down Control backspace and let's say again. And we're gonna do this 15 times. So we've done it three times already. So let's say again, right down backspace. So that was the fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Now control D to deselect. As you can tell if I turn our textures off, this is what we just created. So now that we created the shadow, the first thing we're going to do is apply a motion blur to it. So if you come up to filter, blur, um, motion blur, and just set the degree to about minus 15 should do the trick like so and it did and the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to move it right not that much but we're going to move it right and down um, that might be a bit too much like so now that we've got our basic shadow the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the opacity down to about 50% and then we're going to duplicate the layer but before that we're going to pick the eraser and what we're going to do is basically just pick the soft uh, a soft brush like so and just go over the um, set the opacity to about 50% and just go over the outside of the shadow like so because basically what we are trying to achieve is we want to make the shadow darker to the side so basically we want to make the shadow look um, darker to the text we want to make it look lighter on the side so we're just going to quickly go through the edges with the razor like so I'll do it there as well just a little bit like so and again we'll do it here and we'll do it in there Ooh, that's a bit too much so I'm just gonna carry on doing this I mean you can do it very roughly or you can do it um, like I'm doing it we can do it very precisely obviously the more precise you do the better so now that we've done that we're gonna duplicate um, this layer this is gonna move it to the side a little bit and down and we're gonna repeat you're gonna turn on the opacity maybe a bit more about 25 percent and then we'll just quickly go through this again I mean, I don't want to take too long doing this. Uh, like so. We're going to do it here as well. And 
here. And there's the here as well. And I'm just going to duplicate it one more time. And move it down a little bit more. And also, I missed out some bits in here. So I'm going to duplicate my original layer. Move it back a little bit. And pump up the opacity to about 75. Uh, that should give us roughly the right idea. Um, I kind of messed it up a little bit in places, like here, as you can tell. Um, I could just pick up a black brush, probably, a soft one, and sort it out real quick. Um, black capacity, 60%. This is going to sort this bit out, if I can. For some reason, it doesn't seem like it's working. All right, I see why. There we go. Right, so now I'm just sorting out these areas that I made. Um, there obviously should be some shadow in here, a bit more, and some more in here, and some more in here, and some more in here. So sorry about this, but um, you're probably not gonna make as many mistakes as I am. Anyway, now that we've got our shadow pretty much sorted, what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate um, the grass letters back up. So if you duplicate that, and we're going to move this on top of the shadows. We're going to turn that on. And we're going to move it where the shadow sits. We're also going to do a set it to overlay like so and as you can tell the grass is popping out behind the text a little bit like so and basically we're just gonna want to give it a 3d effect um, and also we're going to use the burn tool if I merge this layer I'm going to use the burn tool to make that a bit darker so I'm going to set the burn tool to mid tones 75 exposure make it a little bit smaller and as you can tell I'm just darkening it so only a couple of bits are showing um, that will give it a better effect um, like so I'm gonna do every letter and I'm gonna also set it to highlights the some bits like those bits as you can tell they want darken because highlights are on them so you gotta set it the burn tool to highlights sorry about that um, and now we are nearly done now a couple more things that we could add to this um, obviously now this is done so what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna group up my shadows so this is gonna be called shadows close that this is going to be called the grass text and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a bit darker effect because it seems like it's a bit too light to me um, I mean it might not to you uh, so I'm just going to pick up my burn tool select the top layer where we got all the styles on I'm going to set the exposure to about 50% mid tones and I'm just going to give it a few brushes like so to darken it up and then what I'm going to do because our light is coming from here I'm just going to um, use the dodge tool and set it to mid tones about 25 exposure to just lighten up around here and I might have made it a bit darker so I'm going to make it a bit lighter around here and I'm just going to make it a bit darker around here. And that is our grass text. Um, in the next tutorial, I might, um, I mean, I might make another part for this where we're going to make some cracks um, in the paper here. Um, I'm going to play around with that and see if um, it turns out any good. Um, to add some more effects to it because the whole point of this tutorial is not really to how to create a uh, grass text but to um, let you practice different things like such as layer styles, the pen tool, 
um, gradients, how to make textures and so on. So that's the whole point of these tutorials, to use the techniques and not the specific thing. So I might think about some couple more cool things that we could use to make our grass text look even cooler. And if I do, then I'll see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, favorite, and share it with your friends if you enjoy this tutorial. Cheers.